Hi there, I'm Molly and today I'm going to show you uh, some tips on making an arrangement in a very low vase. A lot of us nowadays have uh, this size or shape of vase in a, in a square or a cylinder that's quite low and not quite sure how to arrange flowers in it without them just flopping over to the side and leaving a big hole in the center. So quick and easy tip for that is scotch tape. This is actually florist tape, clear, but clear scotch tape works exactly the same way and it's called the tape grid. And all you do is make a grid across the top of your vase, two to three lines in each direction. And then the other way. And then you just want to put a uh, one band of tape around the top of the vase just to secure all your little tabs. Make sure nothing comes off. Give it a snip. And now you've got a really nice grid that you're going to insert your flowers through in those holes. So next, you want to add the water after you do the tape grid because if you get water on the vase, the tape won't stick. So next is to just add your water. About two thirds to three quarters of the way up. And now you're ready to start arranging your flowers. I always start with some greens. So I've got some salal here all prepped. Um, just make a nice little collar. And you're just inserting the stems through that grid and they're being held in place. So instead of flopping around, they're just secured by that little hole that you've made with the tape. Okay, so just keep inserting your salal just till you get a nice collar going. Don't let it stick out too, too much. Snip off any leaves that are sticking too far out the edges of the vase. So that's a good start. You can always add more after. You just want to get a nice base of greens going. And then I usually start with my largest flower. So I'm using commercial mums, the big white ones. I'm using um, sort of medium sized hot pink Gerbera daisies. And I'm using blue oryngium or sea holly. A uh, nice color contrast is going to be a very bright, rich arrangement. So I do like to use my largest flowers first and insert them in through the taped grid. You'll have to adjust your leaves a little bit as you go, but that's no problem. And just snipping the stem at approximately where you think the length needs to be. I group flowers. I tend to group the colors together a little bit instead of spreading them evenly. It just makes a slightly more interesting arrangement. So I've got my three mums here. There we are. And also at different levels. So you want one up a little higher, one in a little tighter, just to give some interest and some movement to the arrangement. Okay, so next I'm going to add a little bit more salal uh, just to fill in between these mums. So again, inserting into the little holes that we've made with the tape grid. This is just going to make sure that once I insert the smaller flowers, you can't see the vase or the tape at all. So you just want to put in some greens to fill in the holes a little bit. So there, you can see it's already filled in. And then I'm going to move on to the oryngium. And uh, it's got nice long stems. You can just split it into three pieces and use those separately. So open it up a little bit like that. And again, I'm going to group these. Just find it a more interesting look to have things grouped together a little bit. And again, one in tight, one up a little higher. Just gives some movement to the arrangement. And next, I can add a little more of the oryngium afterwards if I need it, but I'm going to move on to the Gerbera daisies now. And you can always go back and add more of something 
foot. So one of those. Again, I'm going to group them and then I'm going to just put this one over on the other side to give a shot of color over here. Alright, so you've got a nice bright arrangement there. All the holes are covered up, everything's in its place, and that's an easy, quick arrangement to do in your low vase.